Members of the Blue Ribbon Commission on Child Protection, which was established in 2013, had an opportunity to gather once again near downtown Los Angeles, five years after it was established. This commission was formed by the Board of Supervisors, charged with taking a hard look at how child welfare was operating within the county system and to make recommendations for how to improve the system so that we wouldn't have more um, crises and um, failures in the system like the loss of Gabriel Fernandez. So we did a number of community convenings um, in each supervisorial district. We did some targeted convenings uh, with certain populations, relative caregivers, transitional age youth, et cetera. And so we were able to develop um, ba ba actually both a mission statement and a vision statement. Their recommendations helped establish a plan of action to implement needed reforms and have been used as a blueprint for new county leaders in child welfare. Three recommendations that were key uh, in my estimation. Uh, the prevention aspect of it, I've always wanted to work in a system where we were attempting to prevent children from ever being maltreated. The second was around largely collaboration amongst agencies. And then thirdly, uh, and I think most importantly, is making sure that the reasonable caseloads are there. The meeting gathered stakeholders, county department leaders, and community members to hold important conversations about what's being done to help protect children in the system and also to look ahead. Always important to have a public discourse uh, on these issues. Uh, you know, we're talking about protecting our country's greatest natural resource, our children. There's been a lot of progress made, but the fight isn't over. You can't make progress unless you are willing to look at it carefully and measure it. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Naiba Reynoso.